the, the film's excellent. This is your Thank first you. directorial debut. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm relieved that there's no more film to make. There's nothing I can do anymore, which is kind of a relief in a way. You know, the experience, obviously you've written before. You wrote the first two, you wrote this one, you wrote Saw. How was it different being a director in this? And was there any pressure going into it, knowing that this was kind of like all eyes on you? Yeah, there was a lot of pressure. I mean, with three films in, you know, like, I think Insidious has built up a lot of fans. And the reason it's built up a lot of fans is because it delivers on the scares. So then, once I took the job of directing, I suddenly realized I didn't want to be the guy to let that down. I didn't want to be the weak link in the chain. So I really did feel a lot of pressure to make it scary, but I think we've succeeded. Actually, this one is, is very scary. Tell me about how you kind of made, you know, uh, their apartment complex like another character. I mean, you really feel trapped in that and scary. So tell me about that. Well, the Jennifer Spence, the production designer, she and I worked tirelessly just to make it that character. We talked about the, the influence of the mother. We talked about how claustrophobic it was, how dark it was. And you make all these decisions and you hope that it'll resonate with somebody. So when someone like you says... Oh, it worked. I felt that. It's awesome. You know, that's the only proof you need. Tell me about working with this young lady next to you. Lynn Shea is called the godmother of horror films. She's been in so many. What was it like to have that kind of star power in that genre on your side? It's incredible. I mean, Lynn's work speaks for her. She, she's done so many classic movies. She is the godmother of horror. And she just commits. I mean, it doesn't matter what role she's playing, how small the role, she puts in 110%. I mean, we all know that from seeing her in something about Mary and Kingpin over the years. In this film, she gets to play the lead and really be a badass. And so I, I just watched her tear it apart with her teeth. She was like a dog that just suddenly had a really good steak. She was like, I am just going to tear this apart. And she did. Absolutely. Lastly, why do people have to check this out? Why is this the go-to film for the summer? You know, I think that this is the most terrifying film you're going to see this summer. You're going to see a lot of big effects movies this summer, but you're not going to see a film that's going to scare you like this to your very core. And I also think it's a really emotional film. It's relatable. It's about a young girl who's lost her mother to cancer, and there's a real emotional story there. So I think for those reasons, you need to go and see it. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on your debut film. It's going to be great. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.